My name is Michael Gatewood and I want to help you out with the clone stamp in Photoshop. Now I've got Photoshop 6 and Photoshop Cloud and right now we're going to work in 6 today but it'd be basically the same whether it's Cloud or 6. The first thing we want to do is want to grab an image and I'm going to grab an image that's a piece of paneling and I'm going to double click on that and bring that into Photoshop. Now what we want to do is we want to remove the tag here and up over in the upper right hand side. So the first thing that we want to do is simply go in here and create a new layer. Then we want to go right up here to the top and don't freak out but we're going to go to from current layer to all layers so that we can clone from the bottom layer to the top layer. Now what I'd like to do is simply go in here and go to the clone stamp. Now going to the clone stamp we're going to need to kind of zoom in on our work. Control plus sign can help us to do that and the space bar to click and drag and move the graphic around will get us started. Now what I'd like to do is simply go to the clone stamp and hold down the Alt key and click on a little area that we need to match up. Now I'm going to go straight down. I'm not going to go clicking one, two, three, four, five, and something like that. I'm going to take one simple stroke all the way straight down. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is simply go over here, <clears throat> hold down the Alt key, and click and sample one all the way across this way. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is simply go in here and hold down the Alt key and click and with the same light source we're going to kind of come in here and get rid of all this right in there. Okay. Now very quickly because we're on a separate layer if we go in here and click and click and remove something. We also have this opportunity to zoom in very close and see that we might have lost a little bit of this corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go back and hold down the Alt key and click in this area bringing it right in and we can kind of come all the way around but if we've missed something like the corner right here it's real simple to add a mask. White reveals, black conceals. This is not our opportunity here to go in. I'm using the bracket keys to bring this down. and I'm going to go to a soft round brush and I'm going to take away material all the way right over here to this edge and you can see <clears throat> that we can fine-tune this. It looks pretty good. We've got that corner back. Anything we might have lost. And now we're going to zoom out. That doesn't look bad, but here's something interesting. Because it's on a separate layer, we can go to an adjustment layer and let's say go to curves and we can start to darken that area. Now I want to show you a trick. Hold down the Alt key, mouse between the lines and click and it'll only affect the area below not both layers. So now I'm adjusting that one layer. Do you see it? Here. It's really dark. We're bringing it back and back and back. Kind of matching it in. There we go. There we are. And now we have a little bit closer of a match that we had previously. <clears throat> now I'm going to go over here and take care of this spot. Again, we can go right in here 
and we can go back into this layer, go back to the clone stamp, hold down the Alt key, and click. Line this up. We can go with a little smaller brush and just simply start going all the way down, over, and back down. Now you don't hear me clicking, I'm simply painting right over the top of this. And let's take a quick look at this. And with the curve adjustment, if we need to make this a little bit darker, let's turn this on so we can see it, we can give ourselves a little closer match. Let's come down here and let's take a look at it. There we go. Whoops. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay. You're going to see that by having it on a separate layer that we have the capability of not only color correcting or adjusting, but we also have the ability to mask in case we overspray or do something that we're not happy with. And that gives us the ability to take those imperfections, those stickers, blemishes, anything off of this piece of paneling. This is going to be critical, not just on products, but also on people. My name is Michael Gatewood. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like us. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it.